You're listening to the WBT Podcast with Michael Lodge. Listen to all of our podcasts at www.wbtpod.com. Stay informed. Let's get started. Brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll free at 888 681 1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge Co., your source for sound business and tax services. And welcome to another podcast of the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. So I woke up this morning with the news that IHOP is changing their name to IHOB with a B. Now, I go to... Now, if you want to know what the B stands for, it stands for burger. Hamburgers. Now, I don't go to IHOP for hamburgers. I go there because I know I can get breakfast and coffee... 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. That's where I know I can get a really nice omelet, some blueberry pancakes, and really good food. Breakfast food, comfort food. I don't say, I don't wake up and I say, okay, I, shoot, you know what? I'd really like to go to IHOP to get a hamburger. No. I go there because I want a breakfast I want the breakfast of champions. I want to be fed. I want to have those big portions on the plate. That's what I want. Hamburger, my gosh. If I want a hamburger, I'll go down to XYZ Burger Place and get a burger if I want it. Because it's fast and go. But when I go to IHOP, I want to go there and I want to spend my time. I want to have two, three cups of coffee. I want to read my notes. I want to read my newspaper. I want to just take my time. So, I don't know. I think it's a bad marketing play. On IHOP's part. Because I'm not going to IHOP. I'm going to IHOP. Because I want the pancakes. That's how I think of it. Okay, moving on. Trade wars. If you think there's going to be a trade war, there's not going to be one, okay? These guys are going to sit down and they're going to negotiate. And I have to tell you, but Trump is absolutely right in doing this. And the reason why is because we have an issue where trade tariffs are much higher in Canada or much higher in Germany on certain items on the than on the same item when it comes into the United States where we get pennies on the dollar. So we have an imbalance. You understand what I, I mean? And, and trade is really the way they calculate off trade or improper trade is that it's The imports minus the exports. And that's their trade imbalance. Okay? That's how they get that. So, the problem is, though, that on top of that, then we have what is called tariffs. And those are kind of like taxation, if you want to say it, on products that are coming into our nation, or products going into their nation, that they want to protect their own people on. So they raise the tariffs on it so that the individual say, okay, it's going to cost too much to bring that product into Canada or into the, into the into the uh, the United States but these numbers have been off balance for so long but our government has literally done nothing through the Bush administration and then the next Bush administration through the Clinton administration through the Obama administration no one did anything on tariffs to bring it to an equal playing field And that's the issue that the president is having to deal with right now. Now, these people, um, Trudeau, 
anyway, Trudeau is out there as a socialist, okay? He is really a high nobbing socialist. And so he really doesn't understand trade. He doesn't. Because he's thinking government put, takes care of everything. Trade is capitalism because trade is trading products and goods and services across borders. He doesn't understand that part. So that is the biggest issue that we have is that we have politicians who have no idea what they're talking about. So if you're listening to these senators say, my gosh, we're going to have a trade war. We're not going to have a trade war. Politicians are politicians and they are going to politic it up so badly that it's going to sound like the world is going to end. And as a matter of fact, it's not going to end. What this is going to do is bring things back to a level playing field so that we're not getting hurt, Canada's not getting hurt, and the other, any other nation that is dealing with us on trade will not get hurt. It has to come back to this evil, I mean, not evil, well, sometimes it is evil, but to this level playing field. It has to happen. But it hasn't happened in the past presidents because they all didn't want to tick the other, other organization off. Well, we're in peacetime at the moment, and now is the time to start negotiating these trade issues. So don't listen to the politicians who are wringing their hands, especially Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and all these, <coughs> and um, John McCain, who are just sitting there wringing, <coughs> wringing their hands. <coughs> Excuse me, I went outside this morning, and there's a lot of stuff in the air. Working in my garden, and I find out that there's a whole bunch of stuff in the air that is hurting my breathing apparatus. But if you listen to McCain and him going against the president in favor of our allies, it's really wrong. That's almost treasonous to do. I mean, I call it political treason, okay? You cannot go against the president when he's trying to negotiate on behalf of the American people and American business. So get off that and forget about those individuals because they are they're political idiots. That's what they are. They're just political idiots and you got to stay away from them. You just got to stay away. Let's focus on what the trade is. Let's focus on what the issue is, which is unfair tariffs on various products. If Trudeau wants to be an idiot and stand up there like an idiot, by the way, when he made those statements, do you realize that the dollar went up against the, the against the Canadian dollar? So what he did is he just devalued his dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. So when he does that, and he goes against our country and he goes against the president in a very sneaky way. It's not good. It's not good for both countries. So we need to sit down, get everybody back to the discussion table, like big boys and girls that they should be, and start hammering out a good trade deal. And by the way, I don't believe in the North North American Trade Agreement. We have two ve we have two com countries that are totally uh, different, vastly different. Mexico is vastly different than Canada, but they they're all encompassed into one single trade agreement. There needs to be a separate trade agreement with Mexico <coughs> because there are specific issues in Mexico that we need to address and we need to have a separate trade agreement with Canada. That's the only way that you can do it. North American total trade agreement that encompasses three different com countries with three different uh, styles just doesn't work. So they have to be American trade agreement with Mexico, American trade agreement with North, with uh, Canada. That's the only way you can do it because there are various issues that pop up and you can't use an overall trade agreement to uh, address other issues that need to be addressed. So that's a dumb idea. The North American trade agreement was dumb. It hasn't done it. it it's done more harm than good. And we need to get back onto the path where we have separate trade agreements with two different countries that are so vastly different politically and economically. Okay, now, you guys out there who are who own a business and are taking care of your business, you're not. 
because you're not focusing on your financial statements. I'm getting so tired of clients coming in with stuff in their shoe boxes thinking that the tax preparation fee <coughs> is going to cover the accounting fees of pre creating a financial statement in the balance sheet. It doesn't work that way. Hire yourself a good accountant like my firm that will take care of you throughout the year. Don't bring everything to me in a sack or uh, in a shoebox at the end of the year or in, in, in um, folders thinking that I'm going to prepare a financial statement and it's all going to be included in the tax preparation fee. It's not going to happen. It takes a lot of time to prepare a good financial statement that you can defend to the Internal Revenue Service. So you as a business owner have got to have a financial statement every single month done, prepared, and reviewed. And you need to understand how to read your financial statement. And that is the problem, is that a lot of you don't know how to do that. So in the next couple of days, after I get done with starting the business, well, I'm included in uh, st my, the starting a business uh, seminar that I'm currently holding online and, uh, with, the, with this podcast, where we are going to be able to literally look at a financial statement and know how to review it and know how to answer questions. That is part of your responsibility in starting a new business is understanding your financial statements. Now, you don't need to know them 100%, but remember the financial statement is the document that you tell a story to, to your investors, to your staff, to your bankers. That is the storybook of where you are currently and where you forecast it to, forecast it to be in the future. So you need to really, really, really focus on your financial statement. Don't bring it to your account, accountant at the end of the year because mistakes are going to be made. Things are going to be missed. Questions cannot be answered because you're so focused on getting a tax return done that they don't have enough time to ask the questions on the income statement and balance sheet that needs to be asked of the owner to have a clean financial statement. Remember, when you have a financial statement, that is what you are going to defend any audit that comes on you from the IRS or from the state. That is your storyline with your documentation and you've got documentation to support the numbers on your financial statement when the IRS comes a-knocking. And that's the first thing that they will ask. They will ask for your financial statement, your balance sheet, and your bank accounts. Copies of all of your bank accounts for what year, whatever year that they're auditing. Come on, you guys. Let's get it into gear and let's really get this done because you need to have clean, cut financial statements. That's just the rules. This is Mike Lodge. If you have a question, send me an email at mlodge at lodge-co.com and I will answer anything that you have on business, on accounting, on taxation, starting a new business, setting up a new corporation or LLC. I can do it all for you. Just send me an email. This is Mike Lodge for the WBT. I will talk with you very soon. This is brought to you by Lodge & Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll-free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge & Co., your source for sound business and tax services. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs.